there we are next cup of coffee I got my let's get dirty shirt on and I'm going to work on this buddy of mine let me tell you because of course there's no footage <laughs> um, I threw on the wheel sort of kind of this shape straight edges here with a cone and um, I I made a big point I had lots of uh, clay coming together here at the top which I then when it was a little bit stiffer sort of kind of like pulling a handle coaxed into this curl then I decided where his nose was going to be and I put a thick coil on it and I smoothed that all into that cone so now it's leather hard um, I, this is just a cutout that I attached to it to be his moustache he's not getting a beard a uh, little texture here and then I rolled the coil and put on a caterpillar so that's what I did yesterday and now it's time for some decorating and I want him to be a little bit different um, I want him to show off my favorite technique which is as you all know Scraffito so this is going to be uh, I'm thinking blues I do not want to go for the traditional is that is that a fact traditional red ha hats for gnomes I don't know <coughs> maybe some flowers to go with the caterpillar um, if I'm not sure yet I will just start with what I am sure of and I want to have a little bit of gray into the texture of this moustache so I will um, put on believe it or not violet which number is this hold on mason stains we all know or if you don't you will now <laughs> Uh, this is violet 6324 and it burns out at con 5 it becomes a gray so now I have a beautiful gray <laughs> it's a very light gray and uh, I will put that on the mustache first then wipe it off a bit so that it will be in the texture and in the meantime I will let him tell me his name he doesn't have a name yet and um, he will tell me what kind of decorations he wants I will see if I can do this in the camera in, in the camera oh gosh um, do I need a different brush? no I'm good what I also do maybe it's interesting I don't know if I know I don't need a lot and of course slips in um, a container they will dry out so I only crush a little bit of the dried out crush it into tiny pieces spray a little water on it so I don't have to mix all of that up again because it's no use I don't use this color a lot so here we go <laughs> can you see it yeah I think you can well this is of course not that exciting it's just putting on some of this color and then I'll wait until it's dried a bit and I'll clean off the uh, wipe away most of it again makes sense right putting things on and wiping them away And if it doesn't get into the, the lines and the texture, just thin it out a little bit. But this works for now. There we go. It looks white. It looks like there's no color in there at all. And it will only show up after the after the firing so if you work with slips make tests a lot of tests some burn out some don't some change color and get better 
in my opinion, it's just my opinion, uh, at higher temperatures. I think I think Mason Stain has um, uh, has some information about that on their website, I believe. So that's that. I'll wait for it to dry a bit and uh, wipe things off. Moustache done. Don't think you can see really that much, but hey. Uh, now I'm going to do the caterpillar first, and then we'll go to the sprofito on the hat. I've taken out my red mason stain, which is number 5987. And I've taken out my orange, which is a combination of that same red, which I've written down wrong, which is not very handy, and a yellow. I'm going to have to change that first, because if I don't, I'll be mixing up my mason stains wrong. And because I, of course, can't find a bloody thing at the moment, where is my Sharpie? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, let me see. I've made some grooves in that little caterpillar. I hope you can see. And I want those red. And I want some orange on there, too. I have no clue how to do that yet. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I didn't like it. Didn't, didn't, no, wasn't good, so I wiped away most of the red and I'm now going to just give him uh, a layer of orange uh, and see what happens. Folks, <laughs> two hours later, uh, have I ever mentioned never a dull day on Bonaire? <laughs> I had a visitor, well two actually, and she is a friend from my teenage years. We hadn't seen each other for 36, seven effing years. And I knew she was coming to Bonaire and I knew we were going to meet up, but she just decided, no, nah, let's drop in spontaneously. So she was there at my gate. I didn't even recognize her with the sunglasses on, but when she took them off, I immediately saw it. So, hey Cora, top. Gezellig. Uh, oh man, 37 years. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that was nice. Nice chatting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have some lunch and then I'll return to this buddy. I chose two colors and I think I'm going to um, give him a flower hat. And I'm going to go on the go. So, I have a sapphire mason stain in my slip, which is a dark blue, royal blue, and I have vanadium zirconium. Beautiful. Um, it's, um, mm, what would you call that? It goes in the direction of a cerulean blue. It's blue. I like blue. <laughs> and I'm going to... Um, Put it on there a little bit random, and then I'm going to uh, do the scraffito on it, on the go. So, let's go. They are probably going to mix a little bit, which will create a third color. I don't have to be a little bit careful here because I don't want to have to clean up my caterpillar. I don't like this brush. That's 
too small. Uh, no, I think, yeah, well, this one. Okay, it's, um, it's warm enough for this to dry fast, you see that? So they don't really mix anymore. So there's no third color. <laughs> so I'm going to just do this first layer. I'll probably do two layers, maybe even more. And then I will do it um, a little bit different so I can mix them a little bit more. Oh, this one mixes a little bit. That's nice. I like that. Oh, the birdies. That's a mockingbird. I'm going to keep them together here. Uh, And mix them up a bit. What happened? Oh gosh. Yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> WhatsApp came in. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not worried about the white spots just yet. They will be um, dealt with with the last layer. I am just, you know, trying to mix it a little bit and not too much just you know i don't know how i like it Well, that's roughly one and a half layers. <laughs> I mean, you know, how can you explain? I will um, concentrate a little bit on the bottom, which I will probably leave dark blue. Um, I cannot turn it over because I've already got the caterpillar on there. If that wasn't on there, I could flip it over, put it in uh, a chuck and then you know do this but I can't so I'm going to have to raise it up so I can reach under there I will do that off camera it's just painting it blue so that's what I'm going to do now see we here we are all empty spaces filled up and uh, it's approximately two and a half layers because I wanted to mix them so I'm going to do my scraffito now uh, like I said, I'm going to wing it. I'm going to go on the go. I'm going to rely on well, millions of doodles I've made while on the phone. The zantangling I did, the drawing, the, the previous things I did graffito on. I'm just going to go with the phone. There's one thing I do know, and that is that I want this part of the caterpillar to sit on a flower. So I'm going to do that first. Can you see? Do I need to lift you up? I think I'll lift you up first and then I'll get going. I hope this is okay for you guys. I'm using a stylus. A small one. I can always um, switch to a bigger one if I want to. I will start with small and see how thick this line will become. I'm going to try to do this in the camera. <laughs> Um, let me see. I want the heart of the flower somewhere here. <sighs> and 
I'll start with one leaf, or one petal, I should say. And the next one, let's do it this way. It's a bit awkward around that caterpillar. So there's the first flower. If it's still soft, I try not to fuss too much with the little burrs. I try to try, really, I try to keep my hands off because if it's soft, it will smear back in. It will stick back on. It's better to wait until it's dried a little bit more and then just take a brush and they will break off. So now what? Well, who knows? Oh, a leaf, I guess. I'm trying to do this in the... Okay. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the dark blue rim of the hat yet, so I'm staying a little bit away from that for now until my muse tells me what to do. <laughs>
show you a little bit closer what I have done so far. And I will probably speed you up for the rest of the process. It takes a while and sometimes I step away and look at it, so yeah. guys this is my uh, going on the go with the flowers I'm going to stand up straight and continue uh, uh, it's a bit awkward with this long table to film uh, but who knows uh, that might change um, so I'm going to finish this and I'll come back to you when I've done all the all the flowery bits 
ah, the design is on there. I'm still not sure whether to uh, Scrafito in the dark blue rim or not, so I'll decide that on the way. So these are all the flowers. Oh, he's a bit heavy. <laughs> so now it's time to get to the carving. I started already on the top, let me show you, with the scratching away because, um, well, to get on the bottom there is a bit awkward and this has of course already, there I am, already dried out a bit, I needed to concentrate, I didn't want this tip to break off, but you know, on the other hand, it's just scratching away, but it's so... I call it oddly satisfying. It's just, you know, can you see what I'm doing when I'm doing this? Yeah. You know my style, for those of you who follow me, I do not scratch everything away. I like a little bit left there. I just make sure that around every item, so to speak, there is uh, more white for the contrast. This is a little easier to show you. And this, by the way, is a Dolan. I like them a lot. They come in many, many sizes. And they stay sharp pretty long. And uh, I often do this, like uh, uh, with this one on a uh, Reclaim, which has a little bit of sand in it. So they, they, they wear away a little bit faster, but still they are, uh, yeah. They're one of my favorites. And slowly, slowly, the design emerges. <laughs> I have a JBL speaker box there that just turned itself off. <laughs> Let's go here. This is a bit drier. I think I've said this before, the, way, the reason why I'm like this is because I want to scratch away from the design. So I put my uh, tool, let me start over somewhere else to show you, show you here. 
I put my tool into that groove that I have made and scratch away. And once I get get all the way down here, I will go that way. Because if I slip, I ruin my design. Believe me, it happens. And of course, with a mug or something smaller, you can just hold it in your hand and you know, it's easier. This one is a bit heavy and I don't want to keep it in my lap or in my hand because I don't want these to break off. I have to stop talking about that. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Tiny space. So I will uh, be continuing doing this for a while. Ah, I love it. I love it. Done a little bit off camera, as you can tell. Um, I'm now getting to the point where it's getting awkward bending over, so I put down another bucket on top of what I already had, so it's higher up for me to um, scratch away the last bits and then think about what I'm going to do with the edge. Um, I'm just, you know, Showing you that, or at least <laughs> you can't really see, telling you that because, you know, take care of your body. It's important. So please do that. So it's higher up now and I will be continuing um, the scratching away with you.
most of it done. Look at him. Uh, this is still uh, soft enough. I can, you know, take a little bit of time to think about uh, what I'm doing, what I'm going to do here. I might leave it like this. I might not. I'm not sure yet. It was even soft enough that here and there it smears. If you're too early with your carving, with your scraffitoing, the the colored slip or the underglaze will smear. Although underglaze dries a little bit faster than, uh, in my experience, than slip. So I have time. So yeah, most of it done. I'm happy. I like it. I'll go over uh, the whole thing to see if I haven't missed any spots because that sometimes happens and then I'll think about what happens or what's going to happen on the rim and then the bottom part is to be done see you in the next clip and then there was no new clip I don't know what happened I'm sorry but of course I still have him so let me show you and explain to you what I did. Ooh, don't do that. I decided to keep the edge as is. So you see the little scratch marks and that's it. No design. Uh, the color has changed because it has dried. I, I um, found out there was no clip while I was editing this morning. And it's two days or three days later. So it has dried out. Um, significantly, significantly already. So here, here he is. Um, let's do it closer so you can see. The nose actually has color too. It is, I believe it's either 6020 or 6025 by Mason Stain. It's very light pink. And, um, this is their dark teal. I don't know the number up on the top of my head. Uh, it is well, a dark teal. It comes very close to the color of our cacti. And this will be a cactus dweller. He will live in the cacti uh, at the entrance of my pottery. And that's why that's in there. I, uh, after this dark teal part dried uh, with a very soft pencil, I think it's a 6B or something, I drew the letters, carved the dark teal away for the most part, filled that in just like a coloring book with the, the same red. And I did some Mishima. I think that's difficult to see because that black that I use, it's velvet black by Mason Stain in my slip. <laughs> Uh, when it's dry, it's uh, it's grey. And the discoloring you see here is because on top of those, on the red, I put a layer of wax, then carved through, filled it in with black slip, wiped away most of it. That's it. In a nutshell. So yeah, he keeps telling me his name is Henry, by the way. It just popped in my head. So... Meet Henry. And that's it for this one. On to the next video. Uh, it is getting used to it again, but I am liking it again. So that's that's good. That's nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to find a new way to finish my videos. Uh, we will see how this one, how it turns out after the glazing. So stay tuned for the first kiln opening of this year, which will take a while. I have all kinds of funky um, pieces and uh, uh, different sizes and shapes. So I'm going to have to see whether of how I can fill my kiln. Uh, there's some people that are asking for mugs and I don't have them anymore. I need to make them. Don't want to. Sorry. <laughs> I'm enjoying the hand building so much. So, um, yeah. Let me show you one more thing, thing before I leave you. Uh, I have made another bird bath. It's not a ridiculously big one, but this is it. I made it from the 391 by Laguna. 
it is red brown now but it will become black and the texture you see here is made those of you who know me will know what I'm reaching for. Of course, I can't find it anymore. Well, uh, it should be here. I've used it. Yeah, there it is. Piece of coral from our beach. And this I just left plain. And this is the same dark blue slip that's on Henry. Put in there, wiped away. And this is made with paper stencils. And slip and then well you could call it Mishima maybe and then no it's more carving it's graffiti ah, semantics uh, I drew through that slip and then uh, automatically a black line comes out because this clay will turn black so yeah we'll see how that one comes out of the kiln don't know when so uh, for now my pottery peeps Thank you for being here. Um, if you like it, if you like the videos, like the videos. And maybe subscribe would be nice. And any questions, any remarks, I love, love, love to read your comments. So yeah, this is it for now. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.